Now weather with meteorologist Matt Hafner, certified by Weather8 for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks seven years in a row. Man, the fall weather has arrived. Last week this time I had people complaining it's too hot here in Springfield. It's too hot. Today I had people complaining it's too cold. So I don't know what you guys want, what you want out of me. I'm trying to give you a little bit of everything and that's what's going to be happening with the seven days. We're going to have some cooler temperatures. We're going to have some warmer temperatures. We're going to have some rain in this seven day. So a little bit of everything. So hopefully someone's going to be happy in the next seven days, but that means there's probably going to be some time during the next seven days. You're not too thrilled with the weather. We're looking at the high V weather cam. I want to try to get off this cam pretty quick because it seems to be shaking. That's really because of the winds that we've been experiencing. But before I do, I've got to talk about these temperatures right now. We're at the nine o'clock hour and temperatures are 60 degrees. Yesterday, the high was 62. And you look at the difference that 24 hours can make. Just about everyone here in the Ozarks are double digit warmer right now than where they were at this time yesterday. Joplin is 18 degrees warmer. Now, why is that? Why did we experience this big heat up? And a big reason why is because of this guy right here is we had those winds that were coming out of the southeast and they were pretty strong. Look at the gusts. Springfield, Joplin, gusts of 28 miles per hour. West Plains, Monette, Rolla Vichy were all around 25. These help bring in those warmer temperatures, help pull and pump in those warmer temperatures into our area. And when you look at the weather for the next couple of days, something really important to notice how these winds are going to be blowing from. Where is this wind going to be? And for tonight, we're going to keep getting these winds out of the southwest and they're going to be gusty for the next couple hours. But once we get past that midnight hour, two things are going to happen with the wind. They're really going to die down and they're going to switch from south to northerly, which is going to lead to cooler temperatures on Monday. And then when we get into Tuesday, guess what? They're going to switch again where these winds are going to start to pick out back up and they're going to switch to a southerly direction, which is going to help us warm up on Tuesday. Before on Wednesday, we get even faster winds. On Wednesday, we could be looking at winds that are going to be sustained around 20 miles per hour. I've seen some models that are estimating gusts up to 40 on Wednesday. But until that happens, we have this quiet weather. We have this cool weather and it's been happening. It's been containing over the last couple days. It's going to persist until in the middle of this week when some things are going to start to shake it up. But really, that applies not just us. That applies to just about everyone in the central United States. Some places to the northeast of us are getting some rain. And even spots in Canada are starting to get some snow. No snow for us. We're going to stay with those clear skies. Temperatures tonight are going to be definitely warmer than where we have been the last couple nights. But still cool in those middle 50s. And for the kids that are going to school tomorrow, I know a lot of us have a three-day weekend. But for the kids, you got to go back to school. I'm sorry you don't get the day off. Chilly morning getting on the bus. I think those temperatures are going to be uh, right around that 50 degree mark. And then coming home, it is going to start to cool up where you're going to be closer to that 70 degree mark. So you definitely want to bring a jacket, bring a hoodie, bring a sweater, something to keep you warm throughout the day. But there's going to be a whole lot of plenty of sunshine that's going to be pumped into the area tomorrow. And same thing with Tuesday, where Tuesday we're going to start that warm up, but keep all that sunshine here in the area. Now, something I got to mention with Tuesday is there is going to be some chances of some scattered showers. Right now, the best chance that we can get those scattered showers are really up north. But I think most of us, we're going to stay dry and we're really not going to have to worry about that. When are things going to start to get shaken up into the Ozarks? Well, on Wednesday, things are going to get 80 degrees. There's some heat. There's some warmth that's going to be coming back. And then to end out the work week, Thursday and Friday, we're looking at rain chances. Potentially thunderstorms are going to be returning back to the Ozarks. Much, much cooler next weekend, it looks like here, Matt. We're looking at temperatures that are going to be around that 60 degree mark. So another cool weekend that's going to be coming our way. See those low, the low temperature 40s are going to be creeping back up, <laughs> creeping back in, I should say, next yeah, weekend. Yeah, definitely too. you have to bundle up for those 40s. And so, yes, man, fall has arrived. Don't be mistaken. Sure has. All right. Thanks.